Thanks for pressing play and taking time out of your busy day. I've got some shocking news. Maybe not that shocking, but it will definitely surprise you. It was certainly surprising to me. Just to give you a perspective before I get into it, I used to weigh about 100 kilos some time ago, maybe five, six years ago, and now I'm at about 87, and I feel stronger than ever before. But I want to show you how much sugar I used to consume, why I used to be overweight, and it starts with coffee. I, used to just, I started drinking coffee when I was 12 years old, and that gave me a lot of energy right, to get through the day. Coffee wasn't enough though, so I moved on to V, and then slowly on to Red Bull. Now these two especially helped me when I was going out, when I was the designated driver, and I would have a lot of Red Bull, maybe not just one, two or three. Then not to mention when I did drink, had some Jaeger bombs, had about two or three, four Jaeger bombs, you know, and I was wondering why did I wake up with a hangover? Must have been all the sugar, right? So these, are, these were good enough for, for those days, but when it came to uni, I needed something even more because this wasn't enough to help me get through some of those assignments. And I'm telling you, the final assignments in, in a double degree of finance and mechanical engineering, uh, I had some sleepless nights, right? Just trying to finish it up and I had to have some energy and I went, all, went into relying on mother. Now that gave me a lot of energy, but there was a lot of crashing from all of these. And why do you crash so much? Well, that's because of the sugar. And that's what I want to show you, how much sugar is in each of these drinks. So coffee, I used to have two teaspoons of uh, sugar in each of my coffees. So we've got that and that. So that's how much sugar I've got in coffee. And then in a V, you've got about this much. Uh, not too much, right? And then probably about the same amount in a, in a Red Bull. Not bad, right? I mean, just a little bit. However, when it comes to mother, because remember, these aren't enough. These, these don't give you enough of a peak. So you need to go to the bigger can, and these weren't in the bigger cans back then. So you had to go to the mother, and the mother would give you about 50, 52 grams of sugar. Let's have a look at how that... Okay, so there we go. That's, that's quite shocking. And, and then to look at how much we're spending on this, 350 for coffees, 270 for these, 290 for Red Bulls, and 310 for Mother. And then these are the calorie contents. Not saying that you should be uh, calorie counting or have to, but to put it in perspective, that's how much you're putting into your body. And then if you look at a cup of coffee, if you have one cup of coffee per day for 10 years, that will end up costing you $12,000 $12,740. That's quite ridiculous. That's where I was headed because I just loved it. Still drink it now, but not as much. Now, what I want to show you is when you have about sometimes having one mother in a day, it's not enough. You have to have two, three, maybe four. And there was one point where I was uh, loading up a truck with milk and helping the truck driver deliver the milk to the stores. And I had worked for 56 hours in three days. <laughs> now, I needed a lot of energy to get through that, so I relied on mother. And now when you have three mothers in one day, and I'm sure a lot of you out there, if you are working long hours, whether it's physical, or whether it's in an office, this is how much sugar you put in your body when you have three mothers in one day. That's how much is going in. And how much does it cost you? $7.99 for a four pack, nice on special. At Dan Murphy's, $6 for three. And there's your calories for three of them. Now that, that shocked me when I saw that. That's how much sugar some people put. And but today we talk about excessive sugar leading to overweight and obesity. And apparently, if we don't do anything about it, experts believe that we will hit 80% overweight and obese people in Australia by 2020. Now we can argue, uh, sugar, sugar, some sugar is good for you, some is not good for you, whatever it might be, in the end, excessive sugar is bad. Because this is the, this is the average amount of sugar one should be consuming per day. Right? So the average is twice or half, I don't know what it is exactly, but less the amount of three mothers. And then, after you've had these three mothers, what about all the food that you eat, all the desserts, everything else that you put into your body, 
I don't really want to imagine what this is going to look like. So I'm so grateful that I was introduced to a drink called Berry Blast, this baby right here. Incredible drink. This, one sachet of this, right? It's got 19 different fruits and berries, the antioxidant power, and what it gives you is about six to seven hours of sustainable energy for only $1.50, all right? And it's only got 10 calories. And to give you a perspective of the sugar content in a berry blast, that much and that is coming from the naturally occurring sugars in the fruits and it's also got caffeine from green tea so it's an absolutely fantastic drink all and so convenient to make rather than carrying these around or having to buy them you just take a berry blast with you a sachet with you you pour some water in you rip it up maybe I stuffed it up there that's why I've got scissors because sometimes I'm a little bit clumsy so, that gives you There you go. Sometimes you've got to be patient. Still better off than having all that sugar, right? You mix it up and it makes you a nice summer drink. And if you wish to, you chuck in a nice lime on the top. So, that's the Berry Blast and I, I'm so glad I, I found that out because since then, you know, I haven't consumed all this sugar. I still have coffee, like I said, three to four times a week because I enjoy the taste, but I'm so glad I'm not having all that sugar anymore and that's a big contribution to why I've been able to drop my weight to a regular weight. And so if you'd like to do the same, if you want some Berry Blast, if you want more sustainable energy without the crash, you know, the peak of the energy drinks, but without the crash of the sugar, just let me know. That's my email. I'll catch you guys soon.